Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So, Barney James is currently at the uh, NBA Draft Combine. And, you know, he has the fourth highest vertical there. And uh, showed he had good form as well with his shooting. We don't know if he's going to go back to college or not, but he's still there. Now, here's something that was interesting. At uh, USC and uh, Sierra Canyon, they had Bronny listed as 6'4". And even ESPN scouts would say, what, he's 6'3", 6'4"? He just need to grow two, three more inches. Well, at the NBA Combine, it's showing that he's 6'1 with his shoes off. Uh, with a 40 plus inch vertical and he has a 6'7 wingspan now this is just my opinion honestly can Bronny be a 6'1 shooting guard I mean AI but look how special AI was AI was a once in a generational talent Um, let's see what shooting guards heights in the NBA heights one second, y'all. My bad. So the average shooting guard height in the NBA is six foot four. So Bronny's already coming in three inches lower than that. Now he does have an incredible vertical. I give him that. And I, I just and I, and I know I've said this before, but I just can't see him being a shooting guard. I could see him being more of a point guard. You know, he may have to polish up his skills in the G League, but. I can see him being a point guard more than a shooting guard. He does have great defense. I give him that, but I don't know too many 6'1 shooting guards like that. Currently or even past, if y'all remember a bunch of them, please put it in the chat section, the comment section. But, you know, again, people think he's going to stay in the draft. I don't have a problem with it. Um, rumor has it the Lakers is LeBron said it's not a priority for him to be on the Lakers, but... Everybody, all the analysts, everybody, the mom and pop channels, most people think that, <laughs> and Paul, it's funny, Paul Pierce said it too, Lakers going to draft LeBron with that 55th overall pick, and then J.J. Reddick will be the coach. This is wild, and now everybody's being more open about LeBron. Y'all notice that? A couple weeks ago, you couldn't say nothing, nothing about him. And now you got everybody's actually starting to be honest, but I'm going to make a separate video about that. But no, I'm rooting for Bronny, man. You know, I still think he should go back in college. But um, I had watched Gil's Arenas last night. And uh, Gil said something that was very interesting. He said that if Bronny come back another year, the chances of him making it to the NBA may even be slimmer. Because if he goes out now, y'all got the built-in excuse that he was out. It wasn't the right fit. And then the times he did play, you did see flashes of NBA potential. Versus if he come back another year, all eyes are on him. So if Bronny go out there and, you know, underperform, nobody's going to draft him. And I, I agree with that. So I won't be surprised if he does stay in a draft because, you know, he does it. It seems like his game is more tailor-made for the NBA. Bronny works good with, with, with good players. Um, even at Sierra Canyon, he wasn't the best player on the team, but you could tell he just jailed good. Or y'all remember when he was in McDonald's All-American game and he was going off. Or that Nike Summit when he was playing with the top players. So Bronny game, to me, is tailor-made more for the NBA. I do think he still need more time. You know, get some more reps in his system, but... You know, Rich Paul, Clutch Sports, LeBron looking at it like, man, he can get some reps in the league. And it ain't about the money. Bronny could take the league minimum and be good. Get a G League contract and be good. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.